called the Neglan uh, of Blockchain Helix, uh, actually from, from Germany, and we provide uh, digital identities on the blockchain. Uh, blockchain, I will not explain blockchain because uh, it's, it's a bit complicated, so uh, if you have any questions about this, you can ask me later on. Um, blockchain is all about different, uh, different verticals, what we do with digital identity and KYC process. Uh, why do we do this? Because we think that digital identity is crucial to any kind of different service that we provide with blockchain. And we call uh, digital identity an important step uh, concerning um, the complexity in blockchain. Uh, about the introduction of blockchain, um, there's a lot of talks today as well blockchain. Uh, we think that digital identity is, is the first thing that we will see that actually hits the road. Uh, so um, we will see that uh, even in 2017, we will find solutions for digital identities. Uh, what we have here is um, uh, a mixture of 10 commandments that has to do with digital identity in order to give trust in such a system. And uh, all these different commandments, uh, they stick to, uh, in Germany we have a lot of different um, uh, legal and uh, regulatory commandments, and we are the only solution that simply fulfill all these commandments. Uh, what we have then is a privacy by design, a privacy and identify yourself, so we have something like an, an open ID, so to say, for, for the internet or, or social, uh, 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 a single sign-on for the internet, what you would like. Security by design, a, a prime identity, a distributed service, and overall is trust. So the KYC process we're targeting is one of the main pain points in financial services. Uh, it's simply inexpensive uh, and it's very, uh, very biopic and uh, it's, it's simply not good. Um, we're covering all these three phases. It's the onboarding um, with the due diligence process, the monitoring of, uh, of different, different transactions, and reporting for the regulatory side. Um, the savings in this is about 25% and combined with a, a size of $18 billion in, in, in costs, we are saving about 25 to 40% in there because we have a lot of fines in this. And uh, so the market is huge. What we provide is a trust provider network, so to say that if you're an end user, you simply upload your, your digital identity to our platform, you go to the first trust provider and you get the trust there. So in Germany, for instance, it is a banking side, in, uh, insurance companies, um, notaries and, and e-government services that can give trust to your identity. And because it's a blockchain, it's immutable, you simply have a truth in time once, and this we can, we can play on this platform. So you have an identity, you have this onboarding done, and you go to another financial service or, or maybe an e-commerce platform, everything's already done. So you do not need to provide any kind of information, everything's already there. And in the next step, we're already in, in talks with e-government services, and we'll have a solution in about two weeks. Um, so combine this, we have a shared workflow, so things that's done once, that will not need to be done once over again. We have a, a huge cost saving standardization, and we have a lot of data quality because this data is always updated, so there's no outdated data anymore. What it looks like, this is the end user side, um, you can give any kind of certificate, any kind of information um, to your uh, profile. And first of all, it's not validated. So what you need to do uh, with a video ident uh, or with a, with a, um, a normal uh, site, uh, you simply let this validate it. It's uh, done with an app so that you always have control over this. You give access to this data. It's been trusted. You can, the trust provider can upload any kind of information. And later on, um, finalize this process and the user then have a legally trusted identity that he can use for any kind of service that he wants to use in the future. So we think that this is a real game changer. And with this, we can introduce what we call sub-identities or avatars. So you can, you can relate to your smart home, your smart car, um, even uh, e-health is, is possible there. So it's like a one-stop shopping. It's a, it's a common form there. Uh, so what we need there is interoperability with other blockchains. We're working on Ethereum, we're working with Hyperledger as well, so we can interoperate between these, these services. Uh, there was a lot of talk about scalability. Uh, this is not a problem for us, but because we only need a proof of existence here, so we got no problem with scalability. Um, so to sum this up, you know, we're completely compliant, we've got a short work for data quality, self-determination of user data, uh, trust provider network, and its privacy and security is quite fine.
uh, same thing is too long. Uh, roadmap, uh, we're actually um, completely running prototype. And um, the, the business model is fairly simple. We got a competitor that's charging about $8, uh, eight euros in, in Germany. And they have about 140 million requests per year. So with this, with the business model, with uh, about 40% of their costs, I think we will be a very high aggressive competitor with this. Uh, this is our, our key numbers. Team member consists of every uh, person that we meet. And uh, thank you for your attention.